How's it going everyone? Pop-Tart here. Welcome back to the R-Team channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build my TLD NBL belt loader. So, as you can probably tell, belt loaders are the type of airport utility vehicle that are used for loading baggage onto aircraft. This particular model, the NBL, is one of the smaller belt loaders manufactured by TLD ground support equipment. As for the build itself, we've got two different versions here. This one is with the belt retracted for driving around, and here's with the belt extended for connecting to the open cargo door of the aircraft. As you can probably tell by the title, this is in 1.5 to 1 scale, so this is the perfect option if you're working on an airport project in that scale, and can be used with virtually any of our smaller 1.5 to 1 airliners. It might take some tweaking to get the uh, extended belt here to line up with the cargo doors depending on the height of the aircraft, since this is just a generic extension height I've built, but you should be good otherwise. So before we get started, this build does make use of our custom Aero Team texture pack. A download link to this pack for Minecraft 1.13 can be found in the description below if you don't have it already. But if you're stuck using the default pack or some other pack for whatever reason, I'll show you workarounds you can use for the default pack. Now with that all out of the way, let's get going on the tutorial. So we'll first start out with the uh, common base shared between the two versions here, the chassis that is. Then we'll build on both the uh, retracted and extended belts separately, just so you can get an idea of how that is. And timestamps for that will be in the description below when it comes to choosing between the variants. So to get started here, grab your black concrete, uh, not that one, black concrete, here we go and place two of those with a one block gap between, just like this. That'll be for your front wheels, with a stone button off to either side right here. Next, grab a purple slab in the Aero Team pack. This is a wool slab texture. In uh, default, just use quartz as an alternative, but this is uh, much better for a consistent, uh, smooth color kind of thing for, Aero for the Aero Team pack. So let's take this uh, four blocks back here. One, two, three, and four. So now that you have that space of four there, place down a second row of black concrete with stone buttons out to the side, just like this. And join this all up with your purple slab right here. Leave the right side empty though when filling this in, so you should have something like this. We're going to do something a little bit different here. There's a hazard marking kind of pattern that wraps around the uh, front here. So grab your birch slab and nether brick slabs here. Uh, place a, from the back here, place a purple slab right there with a birch slab coming forwards, and a nether birch slab right there, and another purple slab there to fill that in, just like this. It's a yellow-black hazard marking wrapping around the edge here, so that'll show that detail. Now coming forwards, only on the left two blocks here, when you're facing forwards, place down two wool top slabs right there, then a birch slab off to the side right there, nether birch top slab and birch top slab, and that'll finish off the uh, hazard marking around the edge and the base of your chassis. To finish detailing this off right here, we can throw these away now, grab a torch and a redstone torch here. Uh, now if you have access to world edit, place down a temporary block right here, just any old block, with a torch in front of it. Grab a stick and type slash repl zero to switch this over to your replace tool, and select that torch by left clicking on it, uh, like so. And then paste that on top of the temporary block by right clicking like this. That'll give you this lamp model here on the front for the lights of the belt loader. If you don't have access to world edit, uh, placing a torch on the top slab will be a bit trickier, so you can just uh, leave that out if you want. It's an optional detail, but it really helps if you do have access to world edit. So once you have that, we've got one more light to put in here. So place down a temporary block off to this uh, birch top slab right here, the one that's indented in like this with a redstone torch out to the side right here. This is for a uh, yellow torch model instead and select this with your replace tool like we did before, and paste it over just like that. Once you have that, you can throw those away, and uh, let's see, we can finish off the back here now. So back from these two um, black concrete blocks here for the wheels, place down a wool top slab back from both of those. Then grab your lever, and we're just going to do that same thing again. So temporary block, lever, select that, and paste over like so. As you can see here, there's the larger piston in the front that raises the entire belt, but we also have this piston in the back that uh, holds the belt in place back here. So that's what that lever's for. Once we have that, let's put in the cab here at the front. Come over to this uh, front leftmost wheel right here, place a nether brick stair facing forwards right here. This is for the driver's seat. Then a wool stair facing backwards on top of that birch top slab right there. This is for the uh, forward section of the cab where the steering wheel and all that would be. And to finish this off, just drop an iron trapdoor on top like this, and then two iron trapdoors to the side opened up like so. As you can see, I just used a server plugin to open both of those up myself. Uh, you probably don't have access to that. So if you want to put those in, what you can do is if you have world edit, um, 
place down a uh, iron trap door anywhere with a redstone block beside it, or just powered in any way, and grab that with your place tool like that, and paste it anywhere like so. And if you're without world edit, I think in 1.12 and below you can uh, do something like this with a piston and a block of redstone, or just any means of powering it. And uh, something like this with a uh, iron trap door there. Uh, power that iron trap door and move the uh, trap door with a piston. However, as you can see in uh, 1.13, that doesn't work anymore. It's worth a shot in 1.12, though, if you are on that version, but uh, I can't show you that myself. Coming back from this now, on top of this forward rightmost wheel right here, place a wool half slab right there. Drag this back 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on top of that back wheel right there. Behind the seat, place a wool half slab there, wool half slab towards the center. And then back here, a wool half slab on top of that wheel. Now right in here, there's a... Um, kind of a metal grate area for storage, and for this texture what we're going to do is grab a, uh, let's see, stone brick slab and light gray carpet right here. You've got three stone brick slabs in the center, then three light gray carpets across the back right there to uh, fill that in. And then we actually have one more wool slab right in there to fill in that area. Last thing we're going to do here is grab a stone button, and we're just going to do the same thing that we did with our uh, other world edit details. So, uh, on top of this, let's see, where we have this third wool slab back right here, place a full temporary block down there, stone button out to the side, grab that with your stick, slash ripple zero, and select it like so, and paste over. Again, if you don't have access to world edit, that detail's optional, but it does help to improve the realism. So once you have that, that is everything for the base chassis. Next we're going to move on ahead to the retracted belt here for driving, but if you're just building the extended belt connected to an aircraft or whatever, uh, you can skip on ahead to that via the timestamps in the description below. Alright, so let's build the retracted belt. For the piston up at the front here, place down a cobblestone wall in between that wool slab and the uh, seat right there, with one, two, three, and four nether brick half slabs going forwards on top of that. Now going back here, uh, we have to place top slabs in this space, and obviously you can't mix uh, top slab variants. If you want, you can place just four um, blocks of nether brick going back here in default, but uh, it'll look a little bit weird. But in the Aero Team pack here, we have these custom models for uh, half color slab, half black wool at the top. And this is very useful in aircraft liveries and situations like this. So for this we have the stripped oak log here for the first block, which is a half wool, half black wool texture like this. And then three stripped dark oak logs, which is a um, stone brick texture. This helps to maintain the overall look of the uh, vehicle itself while still having the belt in place there. And to finish off the back of the belt here, you can just knock out this half slab right here and place, that, uh, place down a black wool right there. And then one, two, three, and four uh, nether brick half slabs going back from that. And that'll finish off your retracted belt. So the last thing we're going to build here is the extended belt. Now as I mentioned before, this is just a uh, generic extension, so this might not work for um, lower aircraft or whatever, so you might have to tweak it a little bit to get it to line up if you are building this with an aircraft, but for most cases it should work just fine, especially if it's just being built on its own as a display piece or whatever. So we'll start up at the front here with the uh, piston as before, cobblestone wall between the slab and stair right there. And this time to extend it upwards, we'll place a second on top and one going forwards right there. Now off of this here, place down a nether brick half slab on top of that uh, rear one of the two there. I don't know how else to explain that. Then one going backwards from it right there. Next place a nether brick stair facing backwards upside down right here with a top slab off of it. That'll connect in with the uh, piston right there. And then a set of two half slabs going forwards from that. Going back here, uh, where we have that uh, half slab right there, two top slabs going back, two half slabs going back, and two top slabs going back right there. Actually, we've got one top slab and a nether brick upside down stair facing backwards once more. That'll again connect in with that uh, rear piston at the back here. And then just two half slabs coming off of it, just like that. So that is everything for the TLDN BL belt loader. Thank you so much for choosing a narrow team design. So this may be just a small ground vehicle, hundreds of hours of work from all of us here at the Aero Team go into all of our aircraft and vehicles to make these designs possible. 
And on that note, we do ask that if you use our designs, then please do give us credit for our hard work. Feel free to use this for any airport project you intend on publishing, but if you do, then please do remember that you must give credit to the Aero team for these designs. This can be accomplished as easily as a sign anywhere on the build saying designed by the Aero team, or a written credit in the project description. That's all that we ask. And if you have built this vehicle, then please do let us know. We'd love to see how you're using our designs. So with that all out of the way, that concludes this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for building this. If you enjoyed, you can check out our other tutorials via the playlists in the description below. If you like this, you might find something else from us that you like too. And if you do find that to be the case, then please do consider subscribing to the Air Team channel to be the first to see our new aircraft and vehicles when they come out. That's just about it though, so thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.